Hello YouTube, CDog2233 here with a video on a workaround of basically a new bug that just came out in April for the Steam version of Call of Duty 4, which basically nuked the game and made it so you can no longer do online servers. Uh, you. So basically what it did was it released a super tiny update that essentially reverted your COD 4 back to version 1.6. And if you look here, I have it booting into windowed mode just so I can record it. You can see it is at 1.61, which is a very outdated one. If you look, I can only get three servers which obviously have a lot of people in them because they're all probably dealing with this issue right now. So what you want to do, I found a workaround and I will post the links in the description for these files that I'm about to use. So what you want to do is you want to completely close Steam. So go into your tray and completely exit Steam. Next you want to delete the shortcut to COD4 and then you're going to want to go into your hard drive and find your COD4 directory which is, it'll be in your programs 86 steam, steam apps common, and then call of duty 4. This is the install directory so this is where if you were to install the retail version this is what it would be but it's all screwed up with Steam now. So I have two files here that basically will recover your COD4 and you're going to want to save these in case it ever installs the update again that basically ruins it. So you're going to want to first copy over this IW3MP file. This is going to upgrade you back to 1.7. So it's going to ask and you want to replace the MP file. I did not mean to do that. Shouldn't have pasted it, or shouldn't have cut it. Okay, next you have the COD4X client, which is going to upgrade you to version 1.8, which is not the official, that's the mod-friendly version. Uh, I guess that's already in here. Okay. So then you're going to want to... I just create a folder to make it easier. So up top here you got COD4X client. And then you've got all of these folder files. You're going to want to copy all these and cut them. Go back into your main COD4 directory and click so you're just over here. And then paste. You're going to get an error with the same names. You're going to want to, repl want to replace all these files. So as you can see they all populated there and then you can keep the zip file here I'm just going to delete this okay so now you should oh, and then for this MP you're going to want to create a shortcut okay so now we have that let me go ahead and boot it, and it may not have remembered my commands to full screen it, so just bear with me here. Okay, I, I'm thinking my screen recorder is probably not catching this, so let me just do some console commands here to get it so that the viewers can see it, because it kind of wiped the entire online setup. I can see it... Uh, messed up the resolution and stuff too but okay so now you should be able to see it with my screen recorder and as you can see down here it now says 1.8 to 1.77 and it has the COD 4x information I'm gonna go ahead and assume my classes are ruined uh, they might actually not be Wow, after all this, if I actually salvaged my classes, wow, I actually salvaged them. 
don't know if that means my rank is good or not, but okay. So next we're going to go to join game, and as you can see it now has the various different internet options. So we'll just do refresh list from COD4X. And as you can see I now have all my servers again. And you can go to Internet Activision, refresh that list, and you should be able to pull up all you know thousands of servers of this. And then I'll just quickly hop into one just to prove that I am back up and running on let me see my favorites had one I believe. Okay, this I I'm doing this on my laptop. I originally did this on my good computer. Okay, I normally waiting for it. Uh, there it is. Okay, so ZA Domination is a server I play in a lot. Let me just click see if it'll join it for me. As you can see, it loaded it just fine. I can leave the game. I'm not going to try playing because I'm on a laptop without a mouse. So let's go to quit. And now you can go ahead and reboot your Steam. And this is where the emergency files do come into play a little bit. You do want to save these two files in case Steam ever updates it again. But as you can see, I'm back in Steam. And if I launch it through Steam now... Close that. Okay. And then if you launch into multiplayer through Steam... As you can see, it's still rolling the 1.8 version. I'm not getting too click happy here. Okay, so there's my one of my favorite servers, ZA Domination again. And I'm back in again. So from what I've seen, after you do this little workaround, Steam shouldn't do it again. But if it does, that's why you want to save these two files that I have here. This MP file updates it back to 1.7 after Steam downgrades you. And then you would need the COD4X client to get back into COD4X. And then just, you don't really need Steam too much, so honestly I recommend just booting from your MP link. And then you can boot into 1.8 with no issues with the Steam version of Call of Duty 4. So, I knew this like freaked me out because I love COD 4 on PC, even though it's like 11 or 12 years old now. But I did not want to have to try and find a retail version to run so I was really hoping we could find a workaround on this and I think I have one so I'll get this video out ASAP and hopefully get <laughs> save the community from giving up on COD 4. So thanks for watching. Hope this helped you out.